Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Cyanogen 10 mod on the Nexus 7. So uh, we're, we're going to need a couple things here, so let's jump right into it. First off, we're going to need the Nexus 7 toolkit, which you can find the link in the description for. And uh, we're going to start off with that. You're also going to need the Cyanogen 10 mod zip, of course, and also the Google Apps zip to get your Google uh, applications also. They come separately from the mod, so if you want your Google applications, make sure you have that zip. And these are what the files will look like once you download them. These are the file names, and these are the two that you're going to put into the Nexus 7 root directory. So make sure you do that before we go any further. Put it into the Nexus right now. Okay, so we're going to install the Google Nexus 7 toolkit, which is a program that goes onto your computer, obviously, and you want to put that into your C drive, right onto the C drive, none of the programs folder, just drop the exe onto the C drive, and we're going to start installing from there. So I'm going to show you the quick installation over here. It's pretty standard stuff, and uh, as you can see in the next page, it's going to ask you, if you uh, to make sure that you do install it from the C drive to limit the problems. Uh, that's just how the program wants to be installed, so just make sure you do it that way. Uh, the drivers over here are optional to install. Uh, I recommend installing them because I'm going to show you how to install the drivers for the Nexus 7 through the program itself, so just to make it a little easier. And right here, this is the directory it's going to install on. As you can see, a folder popped up showing that it installed the file successfully. And now, you, when you close it, it will execute the, uh, the program. And we're going to jump right into it here. It's going to uh, it's going to ask you if you want to do an update for the toolkit. So I would go ahead and do the update. So just type in yes and hit enter, and it will do an update for you. So once you got the update complete, we're going to go ahead and start with the installation of the drivers. So go ahead, hit one, and click enter, and you should be able to go into the next page to install the drivers. Just follow the on-screen instructions and continue along here. So after you do the installation of the drivers, you're going to want to do a backup. I recommend doing an Android backup, which we'll find over here. Just hit number two, hit enter, and I'll show you the on-screen instructions to do so. So once you have the backup done, we're going to go ahead and go into fast boot mode for the next couple of steps. To do this, you just hold the volume up and down and the power key at the same time and you should get into a screen that looks like this and this is the fast boot mode so we're gonna just leave it here and we're gonna go back to the program and continue along okay so once you're in fast boot mode you should see this pop up uh, under the fast boot mode uh, over here your serial number will be right there and if it is not just close the program and reopen it and you should see it right there under fast boot mode that should be your device so uh, once you're done with the getting into fast boot mode and you see that we're going to continue and go ahead and unlock it. So just hit number three and then uh, hit enter, then hit number one, hit enter, and we should be able to move right along. And next up, what we're going to do is we're going to root the tablet. And to root the tablet, it's the same thing. Just hit number four and then hit number one, and that should do the root for you. So after you successfully root it, you want to hit number six, and we're going to flash the clockwork recovery mod onto the device. So go ahead and do that now. Just hit number six and then hit number one to get the clockwork recovery mod. There is a TWRP mod also available if you want that, the recovery. But we're just going to go with the clockwork recovery. I re highly recommend you use that one. And then once you're done with that, hit number 10 and that will allow us to boot into clockwork recovery mod. For some reason, there's a bug that it won't let you just boot into the recovery mod from a cold boot you have to go through the program to boot into clockwork recovery or at least that's how it was for me I don't know if they fixed that bug just yet so we're booting into clockwork recovery mod now and once in there you want to wipe the data and do a factory reset so go ahead and do that now I accidentally hit cancel over here don't mind that but once you uh, wipe the data and do a factory reset, we're going to go back and we're going to do uh, we're going to wipe the cache partition. So make sure you do that. Always wipe the cache and dial the cache when doing this, or any anything like this for that matter. So go, I'm wiping the dial the cache. I actually did it twice because uh, I didn't realize it wiped it so fast. So once you're done with the uh, wiping the cache, dial the cache, and doing the factory reset, we're going to go ahead and install zip from SD card. So just go and hit install zip from SD card on the home page. 
and uh, I told you to put those files on the Nexus earlier so this is where they're coming in handy hopefully put in the root directory where they're easily accessible but there it is CM10 and we're gonna go ahead and install that first so this will take a little while it shouldn't take too long but nonetheless it's installing an operating system so just give it a minute Alright, so now that that's done, we're going to go back to uh, install zip from SD card and we're going to install the gapps folder that you should have also put into the Nexus. And this is uh, your Google applications, uh, your YouTube, your Google Chrome, G drives, stuff like that, Google Docs. So let that install, it shouldn't take nearly as long as uh, Signage and Mod 10. But once that's done, we're going to be able to click reboot and it's going to boot up into the Signage and Mod 10 and uh, we should get the boot logo sometime soon and there you have it uh, it will take a little while to boot in for the first time since it's a fresh install but there you go once this is done you should hit the home screen and be on your way thanks for watching guys and let me know if you have any questions I'll be happy to help